Oh yeah, of course. I mean, being a local lad, you always want to play for the Guernsey side, and um, yeah, I just, I mean, I've been quite fortunate in my progression, but um, yeah, always been a goal, and uh, just I started rugby quite late, so, but it was good to get the opportunity to play for the Guernsey first team. Um, I think I, I was quite fortunate in um, my kind of youth um, experience. I mean, I went from playing for the, the youth sides, obviously, and I managed to captain those. And then um, I kind of got spotted quite early, um, and I was training with the first team when I was 15, 16. Obviously, not doing contact, but um, I was just trying to get involved as much as I can. Um, I think some people saw some potential, and obviously, when I was 17, I managed to get into the first team squad. and. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the biggest difference would be the, the physicality. Um, I mean, it's, it's just a, it's a whole different game when you move up from youth to senior, where I kind of felt I was running through people, just grabbing a ball and running, but moved up to senior. I remember my first game, I got absolutely worked. That's the last time I kind of tried to do that. So. Um, I've, I've just the style of rugby's completely changed from even um, South West Free. I mean, if you look at the type of rugby player now, we're playing quite expansive, and we're, we're trying to into the, in, kind of get everyone involved. And as a player, I, I I've, yeah, my, my whole game's changed. Just I, I was quite an individual player, but I, I've had to kind of learn to be more of a team player um, and try and expand my skill set to kind of fit fit into the game plan a bit more and trying to you know take a leadership role um, is, hasn't been easy but um, I know it's something I still need to work at but I mean I, I'm hoping people would look at me even though being a young lad um, as quite a, a, a veteran as such of, of Guernsey. Uh, I've got to say, uh, my, my favourite player would be Brian Driscoll. I, I just love the way he plays um, and his kind of just the way he lead, his leadership. And but it hasn't really. I don't try to look for them for influences of my rugby. I try to look for people that um, are close to me and that I can kind of get experience from them. So um, BC, my dad, he, he kind of you know kind of took me through the ranks a little bit and obviously with Barts and Geordie and stuff like that helping out it's, it's been a, my rugby's just improved tenfold for me. Oh, I suppose when we beat Hove and got into National 3 that was a great um, that's a great experience because obviously we had a bit of a downer the year before where we lost to them in the playoff and um, to beat them coming around this time and getting that promotion, was, uh, it was brilliant, yeah. Oh, it's, got, it's got to be Batman, eh? he's just he's just a boy, you know, he, just, he hasn't really got superpowers, he's just a self-made. Yeah, he's a good lad, I know him quite a bit, so. Oh, there's a huge difference. I mean, just the professionalism that's come into the club and um, just the ethos. I mean, we never had a manager, but now we've got a manager. I mean, I remember our kit just, it wasn't a matching kit, but now all our kit matches. It's little things like that. It's just little professional professional touches. And um, yeah, and obviously the, the people that we get in to play for Guernsey have really lifted our standards. So yeah, it's, it's dramatically changed, but all for the good. Well, apart from loving Macro, obviously, um, originally I was Batman, um, but Geordie decided to claim the Batman role, so I had to be the next best thing, which was obviously the Penguin. Um, my current position being a local, um, I don't want to play a weekend team. I mean, the Guernsey team has always kind of gone on pride. Um, and we've got a lot of heart in the team, and I know none of them, as a collective, I, I think none of the boys would want to play a um, a weak and jersey team because at the end of the day, 
rugby's all about playing the, the strongest opposition and I think Jersey should feel their, their strongest team. Um, so if you look at previous, I mean, obviously we've had some bad results previously, but if you look at last year's results, 29-0, um, but by half time we were well up there. I mean, and I go into every game thinking we can win um, a Siam Cup, and I know the boys do too, so I just say, yeah, bring it on Jersey. I don't, I don't think they should, um, they should weaken their side for us. Duck, tree, board. This is quite hard, isn't it? <laughs> um, laminate.